Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. Today we are also going to talk about Docker. And subject for today is volumes. Well, imagine some process running on your Docker container. And you are processing some data and you are saving that data into files, databases or whatever. But the moment that container is stopped, all of that data is going to be lost. Well, for that purpose you need volumes. Volumes are nothing but directories on your local storage that can be accessed from your Docker container. And now we are going to get to practical example. So I'm going to list my local directory. Uh, you see the content from our previous episode plus one file. I'm going to show you what I have in uh, this file and numbers. You see we have uh, some uh, random numbers and uh, I have uh, one more uh, directory. I'm going to navigate to it. I call it save file project. It's another Python project with a docker file and let me show you first what I have in this docker file. Uh, sudo nano docker file. So it's also Python project and I have uh, one more uh, element in here. I'm adding uh, ownership of uh, this app user over another directory app numbers. So we are going to have one additional directory in here. Uh, and I am going to create that directory right now with sudo make dear numbers. All right. Let me show you. We have numbers in here. And now I'm going to show you what I have in main.py. Well, I already have created this uh, Python application because I don't want to waste your time on uh, writing Python code uh, because this episode is not about Python, it's about Docker. But you have to see that code in order to uh, know what is happening. So it's sudo nano main.py. I'm opening a file uh, numbers uh, from app numbers directory. And that is going to be file that I showed you at the beginning of this episode. I'm reading that content into content uh, variable. I'm closing this file and now I'm uh, searching for uh, numbers with regular expression. And if you don't know how to use regular expression, I have a bunch of episodes about that subject on this channel. And now for every uh, number that we found inside of this document, we are going to calculate three times a uh, bigger number and we are going to write that content uh, into content variable. Finally, we are going to save content uh, into app numbers new numbers file. And basically that's it. We are reading numbers from one file. We are multiplying every number by three and we are storing those results in another file. But what's the catch in here? Python is going to create new numbers in app numbers directory. That is a local directory. But at the end, we are going to have that content shared with my local storage. And let's get to it. Now, before building our project, we have uh, to copy uh, that uh, numbers uh, file uh, that I showed at the beginning of this episode into numbers directory. So how I'm going to do that, I'm going to uh, do sudo uh, copy one upper directory. Numbers is going to be name of uh, my file and I'm going to copy this into numbers numbers. All right. Now I'm going to navigate to numbers in order to show you that we have this file in here. So we get numbers. All right. We have these numbers. I'm going to navigate uh, one directory up and now we are going to build this project with sudo docker. We are going to copy entire content uh, of uh, this local directory into this project. Uh, with tag kst save file. Oh, I forgot something. Let me check. <laughs> build, keyword build. <laughs> Sudo docker build. All right, we have it. Now I'm going to uh, list my images. Sudo docker images and we have a save file image. All right, now in order to use volume, we have to provide one additional option. So what I'm going to do with sudo docker run 
I have to provide option V. Option uh, V is for volumes. And how we are going to provide volume? First, we are going to provide our uh, local storage. So uh, I am uh, in uh, home directory. Directory name is save file project and numbers. Then column. And now part where we are going to mount this directory to our uh, local Docker storage. And that is app numbers. And of course at the end KST save file. But if I execute this command, I'm going to get an error. Let me show you. You see, writing permission denied. And why is that? Let me show you. I'm going to list uh, this directory and now I'm going to list it with uh, uh, dash all. As you can see, owner of this directory is group root user root. What we want to do now, we want to uh, allow user of uh, this Docker container to be able to access this uh, numbers directory. And how we are going to do that? Let me show you. If I use uh, sudo nano docker file you see that we have uh, created uh, one user in here with this id so i'm going to copy this number i'm going to exit and now i'm going to use sudo command g own change ownership to this number of numbers directory i'm going to run this command and now i'm going to uh, run ls all once again and you see uh, that uh, now uh, we have in the list uh, this number. Now, if I try to uh, run my Docker container once again with this volume, what we are going to get? You see, there's no error. I'm going to list this directory and now I'm going to try to navigate to uh, this uh, uh, numbers directory. I'm going to list it and you see we have new numbers. If we get with new numbers, yeah, we have our result. Every number multiplied by three. So guys, that's all for this episode. I hope that you learned something new and interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.